guys how's it going this is your boy Aaron Malpica with another low quality I don't even know how everything goes anymore low budget low quality yeah that sounds about right low budget low quality here we have another pickup that we've had we've actually had these for a while we've never worn them uh, just because I debated on, on reselling them I actually think I'm gonna pull the plug on this and just end up keeping them because actually I got them under retail so that's a win for me uh, I don't know if the value is going to go up on these much more. But anyways, right now I have the Nike Air Max 1 Claude Kiss of Death in the Cha colorway. This is one of three uh, collaborations that Nike released this year with with Claude. Uh, here we can see the Claude branding on the back. Um, it's actually a really sweet shoe. Uh, there was... An, I'll, I'll show you. I'll post the pictures so you guys can see the other versions if you're not that familiar with them. For for some reason, these were very slept on. Um, I guess not a lot. Not a lot of people really like this, um, and I and I I can see why. Um, I mean, you probably already noticed. Actually, maybe not from that angle. But the toe box is a uh, see-through, which is not, I guess, the greatest thing. But to me, it's not a horrible thing because to me, you could give it a lot of personality. Uh, you, like for instance i thought i was gonna wear it with like icy blue socks or like light blue socks just to match the sole on the bottom and we'll talk more about this in a bit uh but to be honest uh, I, I don't have a problem with the see-through toe box i think it's kind of cool uh, i mean i always wear socks so i have no problem with showing my socks some like those nasty nasty individuals who wear shoes without any uh sock which is just absolutely disgusting and a crime against humanity but anyways these are in the cha colorway uh i got these straight from goat um and the funny part is they actually came from the hong kong verification warehouse so it actually took longer it's probably the longest uh orders taking me i got these september 1st these didn't arrive till september 14th or 15th so it, it took quite a bit um but shout out to my the goat my, my homie michelle who read the interpreted the box for me she lived in Taiwan for like 18 months so she picked up some so thank you so much for interpreting for me uh, now basically what we have here again is mentioned the Nike Air Max 1 actually you probably couldn't see that let's fix that Nike Air Max 1 clot uh, I guess the official code for this is Rocky Tan and Sport Red uh, now usually I know you probably noticed that's a 10 and a half and the reason why I got these in the 10 and a half compared to the usual 11 11 and a half is because there is no uh, cushioning on the ankle uh, basically it's it's just a piece of leather so uh, you know if I would have gotten these in 11 my foot would have been sliding all over the place and in fact actually when I tried them on my toe will still get to here so any if I mean and it's already a little bit of a squeeze up here so I definitely would not have gone in with a, a, a solid 10 but yeah, these are these are pretty cool. And um, again, it looks like these are the Hong Kong version. Looks like we have some characters here that I can't read. However, there is a note in English that says, this product is made with natural dyed leather and may have dye migration. Wearing it with dark socks is recommended. So there you go, Nike Street from the top, letting you know exactly from the top rope what you should expect. Um, again, so that makes me actually kind of scared to wear with the light blue socks, but you know, it is what it is. All right, so here we have it, you know, and I, I really like this colorway. I like browns and darks. Um, I didn't like them so much on my on my Jordan 1 mochas. In fact, I actually ended up selling those for close to what I paid for. So, you know, I actually broke even on those. So, basically, these deliver a play on the original collaboration between the Swoosh brand and Edison's chair, so the Chen's streetwear brand, Clot. Well, the older shoe, which came out in like 2005, 2006, I was like in fifth or sixth grade, so I would definitely was in the sneakerhead back then. Its successor now takes its design cues from T. Now, when Nike released the the teaser pics, to me, it actually gave me more of hot chocolate vibes. So that's probably because I'm Mexican and I'm more used to drinking hot chocolate than tea um, as, as com uh, compared to Asia. So in this picture, 
you'll see maybe why I'm getting, I get chocolate vibes, just browns and, and you know, just browns in general, you know, remind me of chocolate. But tea, it is what it is. Um, apparently, it takes cues from tea, deemed by Claw as one of the necessities of Chinese life. Again, I'm Mexican, so I'll, I'll take their word for it. The original's defining attributes remain unchanged, including a clear toe box, which we talked about. I'll show that again. Oh, and by the way, these came with uh, some more red, waxy laces. I actually think I am gonna switch them up, although the brown ones are pretty sweet. Uh, but the red ones would just look so good because that's whoosh and that embroidered clot on the back just looks so good. Maybe some red waxy uh, shoelaces would look kind of cool. And I like that they're flat. Flat shoelaces are my favorite. They're the best. The um, anyway, where were we? So deconstructed collar, which we kind of talked about. There's no cushioning. There's no padding there. I probably have to go half a size down or even a size down if needed and the translucent rubber outsole, which we also kind of hinted about. Um, in the box, uh, and I'll show you in a bit, it has, so basically this has to do with pressure points, which um, I'm not familiar with it. I'm not a chiropractic or whatever that profession is, but in the box, I'll show you. It has a translation for everything, and I guess if you press it, it'll cure those things. So I'm actually gonna have to try it because I get headaches quite often. But anyways, there's a, a, a more detailed look at the box. It's actually a really cool box. On the top, we actually couldn't read this. She said this was in uh, some, I mean, it might be Mandarin, I'm not sure. To me, it looks like Hindu, or sorry, not Hindu. Um, the language that they write in, in India. My apologies, fam. Uh, but I'm not too sure on that. I, I We definitely know this means clot though. All right, um, let's see what we're And also I really like the red bubbles. I think I think this is a really cool shoe because it, it's like very neutral, but then you got the pops of red in all the right places. And then you got the random blue outsole, which is I guess clear, but it looks blue to me. Uh, so it's, you got suede uppers, you got suede here around the toe box. The only part, most of it is like little, you know, traditional leathery. I really like it. Here on the back is probably where it's actually suede to me. Um, where it's just really smooth. And then I mentioned it's embroidered. So it has a suede, uh, tan and brown paneling with that red leather swoosh. Now, something that I would say is probably better on the other model this has a texture, it has kind of like a crocodile feel on the other ones. This one's just, you know, straight, no no pattern, no no flash, nothing. Uh, so I, I would say the swoosh on the or on the other clot is a lot better, but you know, it is what it is. And then, overall, I'm pleased with it.